morning. It's Sunday. How y'all doing? Can y'all see me? Hey y'all, so today we're going to do a TMI tag. In this tag, we have 50 questions. And for those of you who may not know, TMI means too much information. So we just gonna go ahead and jump into it since we got 50 questions. And I had to write it down, you know, manually. Because, you know, I record my videos on my phone, so I can't, like, look. So, we're going back to the old school ways today. But the first question is, what are you wearing? Now, don't judge me, y'all, because I'm doing this for the video. But I got on this little black scarf, this sweater, and this cheetah print dress. But I told myself that I was going to work out today. And since, you know, it's been snowing and whatnot, we've been stuck in the house. I ain't get a chance to go to church. So... Let me just show you. Okay, this one, don't judge, like, don't judge me. But this one I got on, these the pants that I got on. Because like I told y'all, I said I was going to go work out. But that don't matter, though, because don't nobody see that. All you see is here. That's what we focusing on, this right. Okay, question number two. Have you ever been in love? Yes, she has. Number three, ever had a terrible breakup? Um... Well, I don't, it depends on what you define terrible, but I don't think so. I don't think I've had one, so I say no. Number four, how tall are you? I am 5'9". If you have not checked out my tall girl tag video, check that out. Number five, how much do you weigh? We really gonna get on in there, ain't we? But... I really, honestly, truly do not know. The last time I was on a scale, I was like 180 something. But I'm pretty sure she shot up a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of bit from there because that was before the holidays. So that's why I need to work out. That's why I got these pants on. Um, number six, do you have any tattoos? No. Uh, seven, piercings. I My ears, I had my nose pierced twice and I let it close up. Because I was working at a warehouse that we could talk about later that hate on my swag. Like, okay. Do people still say swag in 2016? Well, I do, so. Um, number eight says OTP. I don't know what OTP means. So, if any of y'all know what OTP means, can y'all, like, comment, let me know. Because don't that mean, like, on the phone? I really, I really don't know what OTP means, so... I'm going to skip that. Number nine, what is your favorite show? Pretty Little Liars. And number 10, what is your favorite band? I really don't have one. 11 says, what is something that you miss? I miss being a child, you know? Not not being, like, not having to worry about nothing. Chilling, sit back, relaxing, having food. Um... Like, yeah, just enjoying life, loving life. I miss that, like, middle school, high school type age. That's what I miss. Number 12 is, what is your favorite song? 12 is, what is your favorite song? So, my favorite song is Lauryn Hill's Doo-Wop. I love that song. That's why I use it a lot. And, um, what else? Well, it depends. What kind of songs? I got a lot of favorite songs. Like, I like Jill Scott. <laughs> Thirteen says, "How old are you?" I am twenty-two. Fourteen is, "What is your zodiac sign?" I am a Sagittarius, December eleventh. Whoop whoop in the building. What is a quality that you look for in a partner? So the main quality that I look for in a partner is a relationship with God, because y'all. <laughs> It's something about them godly men, I tell you. that. Have y'all seen that? That's all a trait. So that's like, so you telling me, you letting God use you, and you cute, and you tall? But you know, that's a different story. The tall situation, a different story. You should check that out in the tall girl tag video. But um, 16, what is your favorite quote? 
quote. What is a quote? Um, favorite quote. So my favorite quote is, is by my auntie. Lauren Hill. Y'all should know it if you don't. Here it is. It says, I consider myself to be a crayon. I might not be your favorite color, but one day you're going to need me in order to complete your picture. You feel me? You're going to need the kid one day. 17 says, who is your favorite actor? I really don't have a favorite actor. But, um, I just like people that show out. Like, Y'all know Angela from Why Did I Get Married? I love her, even though she's an actress, not an actor. Um, I don't know. I just, I say her. My favorite actress is Baby Girl. What is her real name? I don't know. But Miss Angela, like, I love her. 18 says, what is your favorite color? Well, my favorite color was blue for a long time, but right now I like all colors, actually. I'm more into, like, I guess yellows and oranges and turquoise blues, I guess. I don't know. I like I like colors. I like the rainbow. Not like that, but, you know, I like the rainbow. Um, 19 says, loud or soft music? I'm not sure if they, like... Saying, do you like to play it loud or play it soft? Or do you like that gangster party versus, like, drifting on the memory type music? But, playing-wise, I love to play my music loud because I need to hear it. Because I need to feel it. You know, you when you play it loud, you feel like you feel it in your soul and stuff. Like, I need to be... In the moment, I need to light some cameras. I need to get some incense. I need to have a music blasting so I can just absorb all this goodness, you know? So I would have to say loud if that's the case. Um, 20 says, where do you go when you're sad? When I'm sad, I usually, like, go to my room and lay in the bed. Question 21 says, how long does it take you to shower? Well, I would have to say, like, I don't, like, 15, 30, 30 minutes. Anywhere between them. Um, 22 says, how long does it take you to get ready? I don't, well, lately, it depends on where I'm going. Like, if I'm not going nowhere, like, these last three days when I've been going to the cafeteria to get some food because it's snowing outside, it took me, like, five, ten minutes to get ready. Probably didn't even take that long. I just... Whatever's warm, just throw it on. But I'll say on average, it's probably about 30 minutes. Uh, I'm say 30. I'm say 30. Uh, 23, have you ever been into a physical fight? So let me tell y'all this. Well, I could probably do a story time, but I'm just going to do the short version. I heard that I was in one in middle school not middle school elementary with some girl that had my same last name i don't recall but everybody that was in my class said that it happened but i mean i wasn't on no drugs or nothing like that because you know i'm not about that drug life but i don't that's a different story for a different day uh 24 one turn on so a turn on i would have to say good conversation great conversation i would have to say is a turn on so of course you know 25 says what is a turn off so my number one biggest turn off is like cockiness like baby you okay you popping but you ain't all of that you know you ain't jesus out here in these streets so i'm gonna need you to bring it down let's go but <laughs> number 26 says what is the reason that you joined YouTube? So, as I told y'all in my video, I think yesterday or the day before, I joined YouTube in 2011, but I didn't start posting videos until recently. But the reason that I wanted to join YouTube is because, like, I feel like I don't have friends like that. I don't have friends, well, if I say I don't have friends, period, then a, a few people might get upset. But, you know, I got a few good friends, but I didn't feel like I had the friendship that I wanted. So, I was like, oh, why not make videos and I could talk to my camera about stuff that I be feeling, things that I would tell my friends if I had them, and stuff like that. So, that's why I made a YouTube channel. And I just like, like, doing videos and taking pictures. And if I had the right equipment and stuff, like, doing it big, like, I just like doing stuff like that. So, that's the reason why I joined YouTube. 
Um, 27 is what are your fears? So I would say the number one fear that I've had for a long time and I still have now and I'm trying to get over with is the fear of failure. Like I don't want to fail. I want everything that I do to be perfect. So my fear is that I'm going to do something and it's not going to be perfect. So that's my biggest fear. 28 says, what was the last thing that made you cry? Um, I mean, your girl a G out here, but <laughs> let me see. The last thing that made me cry, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to come back to that. We got, For real, we're going to have to come back to that. Um, 29, when was the last time that you said you loved someone? I love y'all. So right now. Y'all, my friends, my family, my peeps, my home skillets, like all of that. Um, 30, what is the meaning of your YouTube name? So my YouTube name is Jayonda Tanise. That is her first and middle name, so that's the meaning. It was something else at first, something stupid. Um, but I think the first time, like in 2011 when I made it, it was like no, no resolutions because I had just left uh new year's service at church and we was talking about how we want to do a resolution because all that is is basically like learn to yourself and we was gonna do revolutions so i changed i made my youtube channel and that's when that is the day that i made my youtube channel and i named it no resolution that's not stupid but the name before that no the name after that because i changed i was like ain't nobody gonna get this and i don't want to explain it all the time so, the name I changed it to after that was the Sparkle Effect. It was an acronym and everything, y'all. I ain't gonna tell you about that, though. 31. What was the last book that you read? Like, I don't read books like that. But if the Bible count, I was reading some scriptures, so the Bible. What is a book that you are currently reading? The Bible. <laughs> I'm really not. I don't know. I don't. I used to read a lot. I don't know what happened. School happened to me. And you know how once you like doing something, but then once you're made to do it, you like, I don't even want to do this no more. So I just dropped it. I was like, you're not going to make me read. I love to, like when I say love, I love to read. I love to write. I love to do all that stuff. Then get like in school and they're going to tell you when you're going to read and tell you what you're going to read, tell you when you're going to write and what you're going to write and what you're going to write about and how you're going to feel about it. And I was just like, drop it. But I need to get, get back on it. So, I'm working on that. 33 says, what was the last show you watched? Well, y'all know last night, the uh, Unbreak My Heart, the Tony Braxton movie came out. So, I watched that last night and had good conversation with Black Twitter. Y'all should follow me on Twitter. Jandra Tanise. Question 34 says, who is the last person that you talked to? Um, The last person that I had a conversation with was some random dude on snapchat he sent me a snap a few minutes ago and i was like who are you so that's the last person that i had a conversation with i don't know his name 35 says what is the relationship between you and the person that you last tick so me and the person i last text our relationship i mean we friends like we're good friends we friends <laughs> I'm gonna stop playing with y'all, but for real though, we good friends. 36 is, what is your favorite food? I love cheese, I love nachos, I love rotel, I love, like, Mexican food. Let, let's just say Mexican. Evan says, what is a place that you want to visit? Or, like, I want to visit everywhere. I want to travel, so. But I would say one place that I really, 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 really want to go is Spain. I want to go to Spain. But I want to go to Africa too. So we just going to say. Africa. That's where I want to go. Um, 38 says. Where was the last place that you visited? So the last place that I visited. I don't know if it could, would count. Because like I live in Memphis. I go to school in Forestville. And I say like. 2.5 seconds away from the borderline. From Memphis to Mississippi. Well, Tennessee and Mississippi. I said Memphis and Mississippi. Like, Memphis is a whole state out here. Come on. But 
Tennessee and Mississippi, so Mississippi, if that count. 39 says, do you have a crush? Well, you know, I'm feeling somebody lifestyle. I mean, I can say that. I'm feeling somebody lifestyle. So I would say, yeah. 40 is, when was the last time you kissed someone? Sweet baby Jesus, won't he do it? Um, like, it was this month, this January, right? It was this month. Feel, I would say, a week or so ago? Ish. Yeah, I would say that. But you know, that's in the past. So we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna dwell on that. That's in the past. <laughs> Question 41 says, when was the last time you were insulted? yesterday baby let me tell you so some dude had the nerve to send me a message i know y'all probably don't see it as an insult but some dude had the nerve to send me a message on instagram and was like dang you beautiful give me your number excuse me like what is your name how are you today how's your day going how do you feel like What's my name? Like, you don't know nothing. You don't say, oh, you cute. Give me your number. Control, alt, delete, block, ain't got time. 42, what is your favorite flavor of sweet? So are we talking candies or like cakes and ice creams and stuff? But if that's the case, if we're talking candies, like, first of all, my favorite flavors, period. I love watermelon and peach and strawberry and... I don't, I really don't mess with orange like that. I eat oranges, but I don't mess with the orange flavor like that. But I, other flavors, cinnamon, honey, like, the list can keep going, like, but it's a, it's a lot. 44 says, what is your favorite piece of jewelry? I love my ghetto duop pop pop earrings. 45 says, what was the last sport that you played? The last sport that I played was... Like, legit play was softball. 46 says, what was the last song that you sang? Well, this morning, I was on Snapchat, and I was singing, uh, Kurt Franklin, Melody, Melody's, Lally, Melodies. Come on, Dad, get it together. Melodies from heaven. Because, you know, since I didn't get that word from church, I'ma need God to... Seven says, what is your favorite chat up line? I I don't know what a chat up line is, but then 48 says, have you ever used it? So I'm assuming that 47 is supposed to be what is your favorite pickup line. But I don't use pickup lines, baby. 49 says, when was the last time that you hung out with someone? So the last time that I hung out with people was about three, three days ago, two or three days ago. Before it started, like, snowing really bad, like, so, two or three days ago. And question 50 says, who should answer these questions next? And I feel like everybody should answer these questions next. Anybody who has a YouTube channel and you are watching this right now, I will leave the questions in the description box so you can copy and paste them. And you can go on your channel and you can answer it and I can go watch your videos and we can interact and stuff like that. So, that's it for the TMR tag. I'm finna go ahead unwind and get myself together so I can go ahead and hit this gym right quick. You feel me? Because your girl need to be tight and right by the time sometime hit. Now she a little loose and wrong. But I'll see y'all later. Bye!